a full size adult that eats, eats quite a bit. Thanks, babe. <laughs> This is what happens when I'm doing food things. He's playing on the PlayStation. His new game, Rise of Iron. Normally, normally you're sitting here watching some TV show on Netflix. Not yeah. A to do so it. F first it was Buffy. Yep. Then it was Supergirl. Right. Yeah, I finished Supergirl. What was it after that? Angel. That's what I'm watching now. I thought there was something else. Oh, I watched like a two movies in between Supergirl and Angel. <laughs> Oh, Netflix is so addicting. Okay, hey guys, so we have another week of groceries, our last fill-ins for September, and then we're gonna go into October and I'll have my big full month grocery haul next week. Um, don't mind me, it is, what time is it? It's almost 11 o'clock at night. I got back about an hour ago, so I've, I automatically put on my pajamas. Oh yeah, pajamas, my hair is up, and as soon as I'm done doing this, I'm going to bed. I'm really tired. I'm not really feeling that well today. So, let's go ahead and I'll show you what I've got. I'm actually using my new camera, so if you guys can tell a difference, let me know. That way I know this was worth it. I'll leave um, the camera that I got, I'll put that in the description if you guys are curious. So I got all of my groceries this week from Target. They had a few good deals that I wanna pick up. They were actually out of some of them that I really was looking forward to getting, but that's what happens when you go at the end of the week when they're getting ready to get their new deals going. So I use Crazy Coupon Lady, and I actually watched this other lady on YouTube. Her name is, or her channel is Deals by Mary. I'll put both of those down below so you guys can check them out if you like to get a good deal and use coupons. So the first deal I got was the DiGiorno pizzas. I got two different kinds. I got pepperoni and just cheese. It's buy one, get one free at Target. I don't know when that's ending, it might end tomorrow, but so I just got buy one get one free. There's also a coupon out there that I couldn't find, but it's $2 off of one. So if you can find those coupons, this is an extra good deal. But just getting one for free is a good deal also because these are about $5 or close to $6 a piece. So I got two frozen pizzas. These I picked up for lunch this week, um, our week our, our week upcoming is a little different from other weeks. Mark is gonna be out of town and then we're going on vacation. So I'll go over that when I show you our meal plan. So this is what I'm going to eat this week for lunch. So I, I had on my list to pick up three. When I got to Target, I saw that if you buy five, you get a $5 gift card. So I went ahead and picked up two extra ones because my little girls like to eat these also. So they will probably have these with me one day for lunch this week. So I got the Italian dry salami and this other salami, but I really like these. Um, when I was checking out, the lady, the cash register at the cash register asked me what I ate these with and I was like, what? She's like, yeah, I mean, when do you eat these during the day? I was like, oh, I this is what I have for lunch because they are, 300 calories, so that's a lot of calories. Um, and she was like, oh, I just have mine with a glass of wine at night. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So if you guys like these, try them with some wine. Okay, the other deal I got was shampoo and conditioner for Paige. I got Pantene. Now these are $3.88 a piece. I had a 25% off cartwheel, and then I had a $4 off of one coupon or four dollars off of two i'm not sure i got four dollars off um, and then i also got an, a dollar rebate on both of them from checkout 51. so those that was a super good deal i paid like pennies for those it's pretty good then the iced coffee i got one they are normally a dollar 99 they're on sale for a dollar 25 and i got a dollar i bought a rebate off of that making it only 25 cents the other deal I got, and really like none of this was on my list except for three of these. These are all just extra purchases that I picked up because they were deals and I'll, I'll put them into the October you know, meal plan or whatever. 
So next I got the Hungry Jack microwavable syrup and the pancake and waffle mix. So these, if you buy both of them, you get $1.25 off. It was a coupon from coupons.com. There was an Ibotta rebate and a cartwheel. So these are normally, I think this one was the cheaper one, $2.09 and this was a little, a little over $2. So that was a really good deal also. Now I have never tried this before, um, but I feel like Paige and Mark drink a lot of chocolate milk. Um, we almost have to start getting three gallons a week instead of two because by the end of the week we are out of milk and we're just making do with water. Um, so I picked this up because it was one, it was on sale at Target, two, I had a coupon, and three, there was an Ibotta rebate. So it made this really cheap. Now it is a plant-based milk, so it's dairy-free, so we'll see how they like it. But I thought this was a little bit better than, you know, just chocolate syrup mixed in milk. So those are the deals that I picked up. They did have a really good Tide deal going on, but they were completely out at my Target. Also, they have a really good deal on corn dogs. They were out, so I missed out on a bunch, but this was my first attempt at couponing. I actually saved $40 overall off of my total bill at Target with just coupons and the cartwheel. So I also have $9 pending on Ibotta and another three on Checkout 51. So I think I did really good. My total, I don't think I told you my total, my total for everything was $140 for this week, but I did get some non-grocery items and some things that will go into the future. So I think I did pretty good for my last week. And I will have it down in the description what my total groceries for this month is and you guys can see what I ended up doing with our $1,200 budget. So my breakfast this week is yogurt. So I picked up four of my favorite flip yogurts by Chobani. They're really good. I got a new mineral water for me to try this week. It is sparkling water by Simply Balanced with cucumber and mint in it. That just sounded really refreshing to me. So hopefully it, it tastes as good as it sounds. Our typical two gallons of milk, one orange juice. I did go ahead and pick up a half gallon of chocolate milk because I had a coupon and you know, just in case they don't like that one over there. <laughs> that way they have some chocolate milk. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background, but my cat is playing with something on the floor. So if you hear that noise, that's just Polly. This was actually another deal I forgot to set over there. These are normally pretty expensive. I believe they're close to $5. I really, gosh, I can't remember. Um, but they're on sale, plus I had a coupon, plus I had an Ibotta rebate. So this should have been over here with my deals. But that was, this is a lot cheaper than it normally is. So I picked up some of those, which was on my list anyway. Paige requested bagels and cream cheese for breakfast this coming week, so I got her some the Market Pantry bagels, and she really likes the whipped, so I got the, there it goes, there's where it says whipped. So I got the whipped cream cheese for her. I'm running low on coffee, so I got my coffee. I think I'm gonna start buying these again at Sam's because these are pretty expensive. I also got Paige, I've been getting her store brand hot hot chocolate for a while now so I went ahead and splurged and I got her the Starbucks hot chocolate. She does have at least one glass a day so I let her get the nice kind. She also, she actually picked a lot of this stuff for this week. We're out of Captain Crunch and we eat Captain Crunch a lot. Well I say we. The kids eat Captain Crunch a lot so I got another one of those and they do not like normal Captain Crunch. They like the one with the berries so how to get that one. These are actually new at Target because of Halloween coming up. They're in the fall section. Come on. I'm waiting for it to focus. That's one thing about this camera. I feel like it takes a while to focus. We'll see. I'll get used to it. It's also pretty heavy, so my arm already hurts. So they had three different flavors. The pumpkin spice, sea salt caramel, and s'mores. And all you do is you heat up a glass of milk, and then you stick this in it and stir it around and it makes your hot chocolate. So I thought those were kind of cool. She's excited to try them. We're running low on peanut butter and Bryce takes peanut butter and jelly at least once a week to school. So I picked up some more peanut butter. Also out of the yogurt that they like with the M&Ms. So I picked up some more of those. Got some Velveeta for a recipe. I got some dark chocolate chips because I'm going to make a little, a couple, um, bags of like a homemade trail mix, so I got the dark chocolate. Mark keeps one of these at work and one of these in the fridge because he puts it on every single thing that he eats, so I picked up two of those because he was out. 
The wasabi peas are also for the homemade trail mix because Paige and Mark really love them. And Pearl, one of our twins, she's actually really into those also. I got some romaine lettuce, strawberries, oranges, well those are the oranges, <laughs> apples, bananas. Okay, and these are the non-food items. I'm out of glass cleaner, so I got some more glass cleaner. I was out of sandwich bags, so I went ahead and picked up two. I typically buy one at a time, but I had a high value coupon that was about to expire, so I went ahead and got two, and I'll just put those in storage. Out of foil, so I got some more heavy duty foil. Polly is running low on cat food. She'll be out in a day or two, so I went ahead and picked up some more for her so she doesn't starve. And cotton balls, because I'm out of cotton balls. And Rose just got her ears pierced. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've already seen those cute little new earrings of hers. So I needed some cotton balls so I can keep cleaning her ears. And that is everything for this week, $140. I think my total was close to 190 before all the coupons and everything. And I have the $5 um, gift card for my next trip to Target, which will be next week. Let's just be honest, I go once a week, haha. <laughs> okay, so this is our meal plan for this week. As you can see, once it focuses, there we go. It is all scratched out because when I made this at the beginning of the month, I, completely forgot that Mark was going out of town. So I was like, wait a minute, that is one full-size adult who eats quite a bit. So I need to rethink this. Otherwise we're gonna have a lot of leftovers and just trashed food. So this week for breakfast, I am having yogurt and banana. Mark's on his own, he's gonna be out of town. Mark's on his own for lunch and dinner. He's out of town Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm on my own with the kids. So I'm having yogurt and banana every day for breakfast. For lunch, I already showed you, I wrote Lunchable, but that's what those little things are over there with the meat and cheese and crackers. I'm having that every day for lunch. And then for dinner, I crossed out having three full dinners because it's just the kids and I, and then we're leaving on vacation the rest of the week. So we don't really have a lot of leftover days. So I have us having, we're gonna have spaghetti, meatballs, garlic bread salad on Monday. And then on Tuesday, we're gonna have the queso smothered chicken with orzo and a salad. And then on Wednesday, we're gonna have leftovers. We're gonna have whatever's left over from these two. Then Thursday, all four of my kids are going to my parents' house for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because Mark and I are going to a wedding for a friend of his out of town and we're gonna be there for Thursday. And then him and I, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, are actually going to go on a little mini vacation, just him and I. We're not going far, driving distance, but it's a few hours away. So no meals are planned at home for that. We'll be eating out, that's a whole different budget. So it's really a short week. Um, back to meals for Bryce's lunches this week. Paige kinda just picks and chooses what she wants. So I just make sure I know what I need to make for Bryce. So he's gonna have peanut butter and jelly one day, chicken nuggets one day, a homemade lunch bowl one day, mac and cheese one day, and typically it's Fridays that he eats, he eats at school. Gosh, you know it's late because I'm trying to rush this and I'm like, really, I can't talk. <laughs> I'm messing up my words. But he eats the cafeteria food typically on Fridays because they have pizza and ice cream. <laughs> so, since this is so late, I didn't go ahead and look and see where I'm ending this month, but I know I'm under budget, so. How under budget, I'm not sure. I will leave that in the description below. But I think I did pretty good. And I've actually already planned for October. I did that today. So I'm really excited to start shopping for October meals. Um, we are going to be trying HelloFresh one week and Blue Apron one week. I really wanna see the prices versus me purchasing things from a store, how the meals taste, and all that good stuff. So I wanted to give those a try. So that's something to look forward to. I will do, be doing a video on both of those along with my grocery because I only got it for two days. So that'll be something to look forward to. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. I do post every day. It's not grocery hauls every day. It's a little bit of everything. And with that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I'm going to bed.